My name is Gautam Dhan. I'm faculty here at the Indian Institute for Human Settlements in Bangalore. And I'm here today to take a few minutes to talk to you about the curriculum structure of the Urban Fellows Program. The UFP launches applications on March 16th for our incoming fifth batch. And we encourage all of you to look at the information on the website, listen to these videos, attend our webinars and apply. We keep saying that the UFP is an interdisciplinary practice program. What do we mean by that? The curriculum structure actually holds the best answer. UFP is structured around seven curriculum elements. The first, the core of the program, is what we call the commons. The commons is where we build an interdisciplinary foundation on urbanization for students from radically different disciplines. It's where we teach the economist how to draw and sketch and think spatially. It's where we teach the anthropologists how to think in numbers and think quantitatively. It's where we teach spatial planners how to think about social relations and how we think about trained sociologists to think about economic and governance structures. It's where we build a shared foundation for interdisciplinary urban practice. On the basis of this commons, one transitions into specialized electives that more reflect the way the world is currently organized in terms of professions and sectors. Courses on sanitation, on housing, on mobility, separate out next to thematic courses on economic development, human development, but also theoretical courses on urban theory, urban and planning ideas, as well as courses on cinema in the city, on aesthetics. The electives are a way in which you take the interdisciplinary foundation of the commons and turn it into a set of depth, skills, practices and sectoral expertise that transitions you out into employment post-fellowship. Sitting across these commons and the electives are the three other core elements. The first is the practica, which is the fact that 40% of our teaching at IHS happens not in the classroom but in the city itself. The practica is a term-length studio based in urban neighborhoods in Bangalore where students use the city to assess for themselves what, whether what they're being taught in the classroom makes any sense, whether it works for the real city itself. This transitions in the elective term to the projects where students and fellows join real, live, ongoing projects at IHS so that they can take their learnings and apply them to complex real-world problems with real clients and real deadlines. The final elements that sit across these are master classes where fellows get to interact with practitioners from across different spheres of urban practice, hearing their life stories and biographies of their own practice, trying to answer the eternal question of what one does when one grows up and how one knows what to do when one grows up. And blanketing these are also exposure trips and the internship. The exposure trips put you into cities in India where you get to see a new city and realize how you're beginning to look at the urban differently as you go through the fellowship. And the last element that I want to talk about is the two-month internship. IHS guarantees a two-month internship as part of the program. Uh, we have over 75 different organizations that fellows choose from in order to use the end of their fellowship, again, not in the classroom, but in real life practice sp spaces. Many of these turn into employment trajectories for the fellows themselves, but they're also a very valuable space to test and assess gains in knowledge. So when we offer an interdisciplinary fellowship to you, the curriculum structure we have, I hope, also communicates that we take seriously the different backgrounds from which you come. And many people who apply to the UFP always say, well, I really want to study urbanization, but I'm not a planner, I'm not an architect, I don't have any spatial training. Our curriculum structure should reassure you that we not only anticipate that, but we welcome it. Because we think of the urban fundamentally as equally made through the different layers of the commons. And that's what we believe and that's what we teach.